Hello YouTube, this is Catnip2067 and this is my first episode of Let's Play FTB Infinity. Now I've been playing this in single player for a couple of weeks now on another world in creative. I've been playing around with some of the mods and they're pretty cool. And um, so I started a new world and I thought that I would go ahead and get a little starter house built and I planted these berry bushes around here just so I could have some food and I thought well that would be a good way to uh, get some bushes around here without having to use shears but they grow three blocks high. I've cut them down and they just grow right back so I left it. But this is just a beginner house. Oh and I figured out how to do Pam's Harvest Craft to do a pear tree. If you find uh, fruit trees out in the world take one of the fruit and put it with an oak tree and you'll get a fruit tree sapling. Of course it depends on what biome you're in, what kind of fruit it is. Some of them it's a jungle sapling and some oak and maybe some other trees. I haven't delved that deep into it. Pam's Harvest Craft is pretty neat. Adds a whole lot of new food options and uh, I've been growing some of the plants that I've been finding. I had a bigger garden in back here. See? Oh, I gotta fix that. But anyway, the uh, Pam's Harvest Craft is neat. This is my iron farm. We were having some issues with not having enough iron, which that's pretty typical. And I found a village over that way. And I made a couple of safari nets. Single-use safari nets are pretty cheap. It's um, a leather, some string, and a chest, I believe. So they're, they're pretty cheap. So I made a couple of those, went over there and snagged me a couple of villagers. I built this little iron farm. And um, it's been working pretty good. I had to, uh, I had a golem spawn outside of it. You have to make sure, and I'm going to put a link to the tutorial to build this in the, the, the description. Uh, this is not my design. Um, this is somebody else's design. And I'll, I'll put a link to his tutorial in the description so you guys if you want to build it you can. Um, it works very well. If you just uh, are playing one or two people it makes plenty of iron for one or two people. Um, it's real easy to build in survival. It takes four buckets. There's two levels with water and it's uh, four buckets per level. One in each corner. The water is like super super duper easy. Um, and it works really well. As a matter of fact, we'll go down because it goes down into uh, Base Meg's area. He builds under the house. He stays underground. He's like a... he's an ogre and he's, he stays in the dark, scary places. Um, but you just put two villagers in there. Now this is 1.7.10 of course, so I, that's not going to work uh, in 1.8 because you have to feed them on top of having the doors. There's a whole different mechanic with the villagers in that, but in 1.7.10 it does still work. And um, they'll breed up until they have, I think, at least 10 villagers. This has 40 doors on it and it will produce 14 villagers, I believe, and you only need 10. So we'll go downstairs. I left this running last night. I just stayed logged in and left it running because there was only two villagers and so it takes a little while for the villagers to breed up to have enough to get uh, a golem. And so we'll see how well it has done. And he always has endermen down here. Um, this is uh, Base Meg's area. Base Meg is my husband. And he does most, if not all, of the mining. And because I really do not like these dark, scary places. I do build underground sometimes, but not a lot. Um, so he does the mining. I make sure he's got food and wood and things like that that we need from up top. And uh, we, we make a pretty good team. His, uh, good lord, he's got a lot of endermen down here. He was wondering why he was finding so many blocks. Uh, let's see, what did he, here it is, okay, yeah, he fixed up the collection area down here. So the iron farm is directly above, and we have, wow, 
almost two sacks of iron. Of course, you'll get roses as well. Um, and that's from about, I guess, 12 hours. About 12 hours of running almost two stacks of iron. It's easy to build. It's worth it. You get your iron back from making your hoppers. That took 20 iron ingots to make those four hoppers for this, which was all but two of our ingots. So it's kind of it was kind of risky because um, you never know in certain mod packs if the iron the vanilla iron farm is going to work because I did play a mod pack and they all turned into werewolves and killed each other and the iron farms just would not work in that mod pack. I'm not really sure what uh, mod that was, but <laughs> it was oh oh dear oh um. I'm getting out of here. I don't like things like that. <laughs> okay, so the iron farm is working well. Uh, we got Tinker set up here. The only thing I've made so far is a couple of, uh, well, I made all the basic tools out of stone, but then we made bronze pickaxes with bronze handles and uh, paper binding. These are not the best pickaxes, but I do believe they will mine. They will mine redstone because it's a mining level of redstone. So I believe they'll also mine diamonds, which is what we need to at least get started. And then once we get some better materials, then um, we'll have some better tools. See, this is all we have. We don't have much. We're just getting started. Like I said, we just. Uh, I got the. Whoops. Is that? Oh, that's close. I got the house built. And uh, he started on down there. I got the iron farm built. I got some food going. I planted a few trees. I've really got to do something better about the trees because uh, we don't really have enough, and I'm struggling here with wood, especially after making all those doors, 40 doors. Oh, and the doors stack now. That was awesome. I remember when I made iron farms before, and uh, whew, and doors didn't stack. That was a pain. So we got food. We've got wood. So I think we're, we're off to a pretty good start. And um, there is a magical forest right over there. This is a great seed. Um, you start, this is actually the spawn where you spawn in. And there is a magical forest right there, which I love Thumbcraft. So I'm going to be doing some Thumbcraft stuff over there. I want to build a little castle, just a small little castle. I thought it would look cute in the magical forest and um, make it look kind of magical and start my Thomcraft stuff over there and um, I'll probably end up living over there in the magical forest because I'm gonna you know do the bean farm the magic beans for Essentia and all that stuff so I'm probably going to end up that's probably going to be my main base area over there because usually I I start building and then I go look for a magical forest and then I have to find silverwood saplings and then plant them around my my original base to try to get a magical forest because they the magic beans only grow in the magical forest and to set up a farm you have to you know get that going so that'll be easier I'll already be in one and uh, this is the seed for any of you Thomcraft lovers because uh, sometimes the magical forest is hard to find and on another note on this seed um, I believe it um, yeah I'm positive it's over this way there is a tainted biome, and you know if you play Thomcraft, you need to find one of those to scan some of the stuff over there to get all of your research. And um, the last world I played on, the last seed I played on, I never did find a tainted biome. So this was pretty good. You've got a village over there, and I found... Um, I found some rubber tree saplings. The blacksmith had some good stuff, but I think that's kind of random. I don't think that's specific to a seed, what you find in the chest. I have not finished looting all the buildings over there because it's in the mountains, and some of them I have to really do some digging and building to climb up to them, and it's getting dark. But uh, you got a village, you got a tainted biome, you got a magical forest, you've got, um, I mean, you've got the mountains, and oh my god, the amber. There's like tons of amber up here in Extreme Hills. I had no idea. Um, I don't think I finished showing you the house. I have not done anything. That is an open area up there in the roof area. But I haven't done anything with that. I don't know that I'm really going to need to. Because everything, all of our main machines, I'm going to start doing the machines. They'll all be down down there in uh, the, ogre, the ogre cave. And... Um, 
I started some little Pam's Harvest Kitchen stuff. This sink is cool. You guys will love this. You have to build the basin. Um, and there are different ones you can build. And you don't have to use iron. You can use copper or other types of uh, metal ingots to, to build it. Um, you don't have to put water in it to start it. You don't have to put water under it. You just build it and click it, right click it with your empty bucket and you get water. You have an infinite water source right here. It's really neat. Um, once you get some ingots and stuff, it's definitely worth it. And you can pick it up and carry it with you. And you always have an infinite water source. And you don't have to build those four blocks in the floor that I always try to conceal somehow because it's not very attractive. Um, the trash can, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty simple to craft. It's in NEI. You just you, stuff you want to get rid of. You know, we always have a lot of crap you pick up that you just want to get rid of. Um, I did build the cutting board, and I got all my uh, Tarvis craft stuff. My little refrigerator area, I guess you'd say, right there. And um, we're off to a pretty decent start. I think we're ready to get rolling. And um, oh, my armor stand. I am an avid collector of chainmail. I don't know if you can craft that in this mod pack. I think some mod packs you can, but in vanilla you cannot. So chainmail in vanilla is uh, a rare or I guess hard to come by commodity, and I really like chainmail, so I kind of collect it. And I love these armor stands, so I can put my armor collections on there. And uh, when I start my Thomcraft stuff, I'll actually make an armor stand in my uh, where I have my my desk and all that stuff, so that I can change into my Thomcraft gear for getting the the Viz discount on, or it's V, is it V or Viz? It's spelled Viz, but I think it's pronounced V. Um, you get a discount when you're wearing that that armor, and um, it's made out of enchanted fabric. It's pretty cool. I got to get some gold so I can make my goggles of revealing, and once I do that, I will uh, make my wand. And I already have the Thalmanomicon. That's a hard word to say. I found that in the village, actually. So that was a pretty good find. I got a whole bunch of the witchcraft stuff, uh, the witchery stuff, because I'm going to... I've, I've only ever done, like, the flowers where you make the... Um, you make the trees and the different plants, the glintweed, and the Spanish moss are my favorite. Um, the glintweed, it just grows and spreads, and it lights up like torches. And so you got free torches and free light, and you can light up an area, and, and it looks nicer than a whole lot of torches. And the Spanish moss is prettier than vines, I think, and it looks real pretty in the magical forest because it has a real, when you plant it over there, it has a real pretty um, sheen to it and a uh, different kind of color like everything does in the magical forest. It's real pretty. And I like pretty. I am a girl after all. And, um... Okay, let's see. What else have we done? I think that's all we've done so far. Let's see. The iron farm and the carpenter's blocks. This uh, mod pack has got the carpenter's blocks. And so, as you can tell, I made a carpenter's, carpenter's bed. I have not made... Uh, you can change the wood and you can change the covers on it. I have not done that yet, but I am going to because I was still moving things around. And every time you move it, it goes back to uh, the standard. So I haven't... I think I had some marble on the bottom, and you got to have the carpenter's hammer, I believe, to change the covers on it. So we'll work on that and do that, make it cute. And I think that's all we're going to do for right now. I just wanted to give you guys an introduction, introduce myself, show you uh, the start of my new world and my new series of FTB Infinity. And I hope you guys will come back and watch me again because I'm going to have the next episode what we're going to do is probably work on gathering the materials to build start building our machines we need uh, the redstone furnace I think I'm going to do thermal expansion because I found that when I do industrial craft I tend to not be able to use those machines with the other uh, power sources the power sources I tend to like um, I usually end up if I not the industrial craft, the build craft. When I do the build craft stuff, I end up just storing away those machines and I make different ones. So uh, what I want to do is I want to try to start with the other machines. And um, But if the build craft ones are cheaper and that's what's available to me, I will build those. They work just as well. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start on our machinery and get that going, get some resources going, and... 
I want to eventually get to apply to Energistics and get me an ME system going. I've been messing around with that in Creative, and that is really cool. That is really cool. So I don't know a lot about these mods, so I'm learning. So hopefully, you know, you guys can learn from my mistakes, and uh, maybe you guys can leave me some comments, some ideas, some tips, you know, tell me what I'm doing wrong, tell me, you know, what I can do better. Uh, what's going to work better because uh, like I said I am definitely a noob. The only mod that I really know, I don't know everything about but I know more about is Stompcraft because I have played that a lot and I like that mod. Um, so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed my video. It was nice to meet everyone and this is actually my very first Minecraft video. Uh, this is actually my first YouTube video. So tell me how I did and I hope to see you soon. Bye now.